we we had a nice you know our little brief call that we had uh one of the things that i learned from you that the the adu the, so the additional dwelling unit ordinance that that recently passed uh was originally intended for the entire city is that correct because that's one of the biggest complaints we get from you know when we talk to listeners when we go to meetups is you know I'm four blocks over. Why can't I take advantage of this? But the guy four blocks to the West, East, whatever can like w- these lines make no sense. Right. Yeah. The, the, if you, if you look back at what um, we introduced, it was a citywide ordinance. Uh, we later came back with five pilot areas. Um, and that is a reflection of, you know, the, the council support that we had. And so we have heard lots and lots of, interest from members of council in making this citywide. And so I do think it's something that we'd like to return to uh, as as things change and we have, you know, a very different council coming up. Um, I think it's something we want to, we definitely want to revisit. And I think it's important to note that there's some change, there's some differences in the pilots by geography that we may need to continue. And in a, here's an example I'll give of that. We heard from Um, an alderman on the South side who said, I already struggle with investors buying buildings that I, before um, an actual owner occupant gets a chance to buy it and live there. And I want less investors and I want more owner occupants. And I fear that if this passes in my ward, it only becomes more profitable for an investor to buy this property and rent out yet another unit and I don't want to make that any more profitable than it already is because I'm trying to get more owner occupants. So given that concern, what we did was that in some of the, the, um, the uh, pilot areas, if you're under a certain number of units, I think it's three units, then you have to, it, the building has to be owner occupied in order to take advantage of it. And that's not the case in other parts of the city where alders are more concerned just with um you know, meeting some of the demand for housing that's over the top and and they're not as concerned about that. Um, And so I think there's a lot of room for us to be sensitive to the context in which this is occurring, but we have some really interesting data. I mean, so far about two thirds of our applications have been for owner occupied properties. So um, the notion that this would sort of be like a investor bonanza is not exactly playing out that way. And those were some of the concerns that we heard. I think uh, I'll speak from what me and Tom hear all the time and what I think from my opinion as well, too. I think this has been a huge conversation uh, point and it actually triggers more owner occupied people to do what we call house hacking, where you live in one and rent the other as like a stepping stone. They might become an investor <clears throat> 10 years down the road, but that actually creates so much more inventory or opportunity for people to do it. If anything, it creates a whole nother investment strategy in the city of Chicago, whether it be owner occupied or investors, because they now become quote unquote specialists and be able to take a three flat with a, a, a non-conforming garden and convert it. Like that becomes a whole nother segment of opportunity. So I, I think it would be huge everywhere. And I, there's a couple of South side aldermen that I've talked to that have uh, shared similar uh, feedback, what you said. And yeah. what I always tell them is it, it's going to be your investors that are going to come in and do the heavy lifting. Uh, Cause here's the thing you're building that needs $120,000 worth of work. Your owner occupied person is going to come in and, and do it half ass or they're not going to do it, or they're going to put in a contract that it's going to fall apart. And it's your investors that will come and do the heavy lifting, hold it for three to five years, and then sell it when they're off to do something else. It's going to go to owner-occupied person with 20 years left on all that CapEx uh, improvements that that investor did. So there's definitely a a spin on it for those aldermen that they have to kind of look at this uh, long-term. 